fully equipped medical centre over there. So our 771 can take a, a fully uh, fledged sort of surgeon with them. They're all paramedic trained, but the medical centre will give them extra support. Got three churches, faster air sporting facilities, shops, a cinema, lots of offices. We've also got the guard room and the ship's mast, the white ensign there flying, and the little white flag with the red diamond, which is Foxtrot. So if you see that one flying, you know that the ship is conducting flying operations today. And then, of course, we have the, our little gate guardian, a 1950s carrier-borne jet. It was never stationed at Cold Rose, but that is a Seahawk. And as we are HMS Seahawk, it's very appropriate that she's there watching over us. The main ship's bridge there was opened in 1970, linking the two sites because it's a very, very dangerous road now. Come up and down here so fast, so of course it enables our personnel to cross in safety. And as we go around the main gate here, we've got two simulator buildings. We have the dark green Merlin simulator and the light green Sea King simulator. So anything to do with the Merlin, that would be um, engine changes, weapon-based change in mechanical engineering can be carried out in that building under practice on the simulator. And the same applies Dad, anything to do with the Sea King can be carried me. out in the light green simulator. So we'll just position ourselves so that we can, uh, again, take some nice little photographs of 771. You may have to move towards the back of the coach because depending on where we are, this is the main sort of taxiway between the, uh, the hangar. We've got eight search and rescue helicopters based at Cold Rose. Three of them are out at the moment. Duty is out because duty is normally far, further over there. But you're looking at a Mark V seeking or helicopter at utility. The squadron was formed in 1939 and Leon Solent came to us in 1974. It would have been Wessex flying here, but now we've upgraded to the Mark V Sea King. Again, speculation last year was that we were going to lose our Mark V Sea Kings to be replaced by Sikorsky S92s, but we're going to hang on to the Mark Vs. We're going to have them upgraded and modified a little bit. Oh, there's those hooks just taken off there now. There we go. Keep an eye, yes, one of them. Yep, there's the other two. Tree. So we're, we're still keeping our Mark 5s easily identified by their red and grey paintwork. So starting from the front of the aircraft and working back, you've got the red nose cone with the Ace of Clubs on the front. We believe the Ace of Clubs dates back to the times of uh, when each squadron took on, when they went on board aircraft carriers, would have taken on a suit of cards, hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades. Of course we've got the Ace of Clubs there. And if anybody sees the Royal Naval Historic Flight flying, and you've got the Seahawk, you know, exactly the same as the one on our main gate there, she has the Ace of Diamonds on the side. So on top of the cab, you've got the um, sandbox. You can just see the grills. That's the sandbox. And then behind that, again, you've got the engines. They're covered over, but we've got two Rolls-Royce 1600 shaft horsepower Rolls-Royce Gnome engines. And then behind that, again, you've got the main gearbox and rotor head which are all protected. And behind that again, you've got the big lump on the back. That's a radar. That's their radar dome. And this one's facing the right way. You've got the words rescue. That's what we call the barn door. That slides across. And looking out through that barn door would be your very, very brave, very fondly called dope on a rope. Calls him a dope on a rope. He's a very brave chap who gets lowered down on that cable. The cable is about as wide as my little finger. Attached by a ball bearing on that winch, gets lowered down. He goes down, he can detach himself from that cable, swim out to anybody that might be in difficulty on the vessel or, you know, trapped underneath an overturned vessel. We, t we do carry out various types of um, rescue missions. We have our air sea rescue, which is our stricken vessels on and off the water. Could be carrying. Um, taking on water basically so uh, we can carry out a pump to help them uh, pump the water out or we may have got somebody who could be out this afternoon going down to the lizard having some fish and chips and lose your footing and find yourself 